yeah, I, I'm here in Birmingham at the Vision Beatbox Festival. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, how's it going? You're probably wondering who we are and why we're here. I'm Kruksu and I'm Tiger Main, and together we're traveling around the world to meet as many beatboxers as we can. On our travels, we're supporting beatboxers and beatbox communities with free audio and visual production. We cannot wait to share this journey with you. So come and join us on the first episode of the Grand Beatbox Adventure. On today's episode, we head to Glasgow to jam with the Scottish beatbox community. And then we will visit our brother Bass Ventura at his home to eat, drink and busk in the streets of Liverpool. And then to Dublin where we get to meet the up and coming Irish beatbox community where they showcase their amazing talent. Not to mention we feast down on some iconic local late night snacks. Let's not forget the Vision Beatbox Battle hosted by the 555 where we will see Frosty, D-Lo, Supernova, Footbox G and many others perform. And finally, we catch up with ABH and Beatfox in London at one of UK's most notorious graffiti spots. Yo, what up, it's Tiger Main. Yo, what up, it's Crook Suit. We've made it to Glasgow. Yeah, we're out here to see the Scottish beatbox scene. We've got a couple things to do this weekend. We'll be traveling all around Europe for the next four months, catching up with beatbox organizers, some of your favorite artists, seeing how they live, what they do. Yeah, we're in a beautiful city here in Glasgow. We've got many other stops on the way. We're going to Manchester, we're going to Birmingham, we're going to Dublin. Can't wait to see all of you guys. <laughs> Glasgow! <laughs> Today, we're gonna to go to the Carlton Studios, 6 p.m., other side of the river. We're gonna go and see the bros, film some videos, meet some new people. Tonight, we're meeting with Al and Big Taj, two of the leaders in the Scottish beatbox community. They're gonna share their stories as to how the Scottish beatbox community was created and how far beatboxing has taken them. Hi, my name's Liam. I go by the name of L, and I love beatboxing. <laughs> I just made up the page, Beatbox Scotland. We had to have something so people could then type in, and that's what happened. People typed in the page and the message the page. Meet up for jams, met so many great people for it. Like, we've had to do open mics, meet people, and but it's took time, you know what I mean? It's took time to go out and meet people and get into these situations. You know, even in Buskin as well, we need to go out and that, that, sort of, that sort of stuff. That's what's been happening now, that's what's stage right right now. I go by the name of Big Taj and I'm a beatboxer. I like beatboxing, I love beatboxing. Absolutely amazing, like where it has taken me. So I appreciate like the beatboxing. You know, like I appreciate. Sometimes I'm like, I hate beatboxing. I don't <laughs> want to do it anymore. My mouth part is, I'm like, look at where this has got you. I'm looking at where else it, what else it can lead to. You know what I mean? It opens a lot of doors. Absolutely. Big Taj was able to utilize his beatboxing to enable him to get multiple acting jobs in some of the biggest shows in UK. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, I've been beatboxing since long time. Do you know what I mean? Twenty years or whatever. And people still have that wow fans like wow. You guys get it as well, do you know what I mean? Like, wow, how'd you do that? You know, and I still love that, you know, it's amazing. Alright, Scotland's a wrap. Now we're off to Warrington to see our brother BV. Hey, tomorrow, UK Saints, come down. One more special plan for you, let's go. And little did we know, he's quite the green thumb. Are you ready to see the size of the zucchini? Absolutely, brother. Huge. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Let's go, brother. Check this bad boy out right here. We're gonna need a bigger colander, brother. Phew! <laughs> 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 ah. That bad boy. Fresh, no pesticides, grown. Feel that. Give it a knock, give it a flick. Can I give it a flick, right? Give me a flick. <laughs> Flash more, didn't hurt anyone. That's within all of their own recipes, but for me. Are you crying, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Cry, bro. <laughs> it's all right, brother. And I think I remember you saying to me that you maybe started doing a little bit of repping. 
Yeah, it started out performing at illegal raves at the age of 13. So it's not your most kind of direct route <laughs> to your music industry, but yeah, like it was, you, as you imagine, you take a speaker set, you go by nine of you carrying a generator that weighs like a disgusting amount of weight, you're trugging through a field in the mud in your welly boots, and you get there, you fill it full of petrol, you set this whole thing, there's like four or five hundred people turning up in the middle of the night, and you throw these illegal raves. Don't sweet soy. Sweet soy. Hey, Crooksy, what are you up to? I'm just chilling out in the garden, brother, just hanging out. Yeah, just waiting for dinner, eh? Too many shifts. Yeah. I gotta just, I gotta <laughs> let them cook them, my meal for me. Bro, what happened to cooking with Crooksy, mate? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Condiments, you condiment additions. You can't fuck here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll come back to that. See yourself. It's only right. Mmm. 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 Bloody beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys. Thanks, thanks, Steve, for all your work. No worries. Crooksu Kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Tune in next time. Yeah. If you want to catch the full episode of Cooking with Crooksu, make sure to follow our Patreon. Now that we're all fueled up, I think it's time to go busking. You're in for a good time, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? We've just been hanging out with my man BV in his hometown. We're currently on the train on the way to Liverpool to do a bit of busking. Take it all away. Step on the stage, bring vibes, I'm credible. Impeccable, a baseline general. Thank you, my brother. Bring it back. For the locals, it's great to be here. It's a beautiful day. We're having a great time, jamming with our friends and families. We all here. We jamming. After having so much fun with our friend BV, it was hard to leave. But it was time we got on the boat to go to Ireland. But before that, listen up if you want to win a BA330 Roland speaker. Yo guys, busking and street performing is such a massive part of this trip for us. Busking has been a very big part of our journey. It's a very useful tool to help you become a better performer and to practice your routines on the fly in the streets. People who might not know what beatboxing is. That's why we're giving away the best busking speaker on the market. The Roland BA330. All you have to do is sign up to our Patreon. The link is down in the description. Back to the video. After eight hours of traveling by bus, train, and boat, we'd made it to Ireland. We were tired, but with 20 beatboxes to film over two days, we had a lot of work to do. Out here with the Irish beatboxing crew. Yeah, we got all the lads out here. We got a good crew today, so we're gonna get some good shots of these guys and good shots of the city, so something to look forward to. I'm gonna be Kirk. What did you say? Alright. Oh, what are you Here's a sneak peek from one of the shout outs. If you want to catch one of these 20 videos, be sure to head across to the Iris Beatbox Association page. All that filming worked up a hunger. Time to get one of Dublin's iconic meals, the spice bag. We made it to Dublin. The famous spice bag. 
sweet and sour. It's, it's fucking banging. banging. And yet again, the vegan is eating meat. <laughs> <laughs> Sriracha sauce. <laughs> Cheers, boy. <laughs> Dublin was sick, but now it's time for us to head to Birmingham for the Vision Beatbox Festival. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? We're here in Birmingham at the Vision Beatbox Festival. Let's go and check it out. The Crit Vice Champion 2022, Tommy. Yo, we are the 555. I'm Merc, uh, I'm a beatboxer, part of the 555. I'm Philippe Audux, and I'm part of the 555. So I'm Siren. I'm Churis. My name's Sam, or I go by Icon. So I'm James. My name is Tom. Or Brizzle, the beatbox hippie. And my name is Tommy, and my stage name is TMY. One, two, three, four, five, five, five! five. <laughs> this is the Vision Beatbox Festival. It's something we've been working on for quite a long time now. It's all of our dream, really, to put on this event, bring all the beatboxes together. Being together with all the boys is just something so nice. We just want to bring it to, to Birmingham, you know, bring it to the UK. We're hearing Footbox doing the sound check right now. <laughs> Too good, man. And it's, this, this is the type of thing I want. I want people to just come and perform and, and show their art. <laughs> We're gonna have the first part, just a top eight solo. We're gonna have a top four loop. I've been the sound technician for this event. I've been going up and um, making sure all the levels are good and make, basically making sure the speakers sound good. The battles were, the battles were crazy. It's Seeing the crowd reaction as well. Oh man, it's See, a privilege man. It is, it is man. We're so blessed. I feel like the crowd really gives almost 50% of the energy of the yeah, whole beatbox man. performance. Well, the right? whole idea for the event was to focus on the vibes. It's yeah. all about immaculate vibes, right? And that's yeah. all we like tried to create. And then to see that realized and see that on stage and like, it's just, we pulled it all together, right? Yo, what's up guys? We're out here in Birmingham at the Vision Beatbox Festival. It's madness. We've seen the quarterfinals for the solos and we've seen the semi-finals for the loops. It's been mad so far, brother. How's it been? It's been fire. I'm getting Aspie to win, that's who my money's on right yeah, now. Yeah, Aspie's mad, Aspie's got a lot of power, he's very strong on the mic, very clean, very technical. It's beautiful to see these lads up there doing their things. What do you think about Loops? Loops, Loops is mad. We got the brother Yasui from Belgium, that was that was crazy, that was on. Awesome. Brother, if you haven't tuned in to Vision Beatbox before, tune in to the Vision Battles, because they're fire. There was way too much content from this event to put into a three minute segment in the vlog. We have a full length version of the Vision Beatbox Festival coming out soon, so stay tuned if you want to see that one. This is Leak Street, also known as Banksy Tunnel, a place where graffiti artists can come and practice their crafts without being harassed by the authorities. Yo, my name is Beatbox, I'm from London, I'm a beatboxer and graffiti artist. But in the UK, when I first started meeting people and discovering there was a beatboxing network, uh, people like Yasson were really driving the scene, uh, Basics and Hobbit. Uh, we would just do local jams and try and meet up and, you know, just express ourselves and see who's improved the most. I've always tagged. Every, ever since I was at school, art has always been a part of me as well as beatboxing. So if there's a pen in my hand, I'm writing it somewhere. When I was younger, some of my friends were really good graffiti artists. I'll stick to making noises because you lot are sick of that. You do that, I'll do this. Whereas um, I got my confidence up basically through lockdown and applied myself and got my own style and I wish I'd done it 20 years ago, you know. It was nice to come into that confidence and be like, you know what, I'm going to come to somewhere public and do my stuff. So I came out, applied myself to the wall, spent like eight hours up and down a ladder and the next day it was gone. But it showed myself something, you know what I mean? Nothing is permanent and to leave your mark is a big thing. 
I think it's just a nice form of expression and to apply your mind onto a canvas as well as into ears is a very nice way of expression. Just be professional, be as professional as you can be um, around anyone in any situation. Turn up, uh, dress the part, you know, and just make sure that you're representing the culture fully. Yeah. It's ABH inside the place with the things and the stuff and the stuff with the things and the things with the stuff. Shout out to the crew and of course, I've got this like unhealthy addiction to beatbox. <laughs> Faith SFX, Beardy Man, uh, and from that I got into the UK scene and saw Reap's one and stuff like that and just blew my mind. I was addicted every night just watching beatbox videos, you know. I was fortunate enough to be a co-creator and a performer in a show called Frankenstein, How to Make a Monster, which was a multi-award winning show, five star reviews, and it was just something that we created out of joy. Yeah, like. What, no, what, who, what, who am I, what am I, what, what? Heartbreaks are by social media crazy. There's so many different like types of audiences that you can possibly be performing to, yeah. It really brings me joy to like, bring beatbox to places where it wouldn't usually be and have an audience that's completely fresh to it suddenly like oh it's not just a weird gimmicky word beatbox is actually you know something that if done well it can be really artistic and really important so yeah fit is a big one for me yeah man i started battling in the uk champs in like 2012 something like that in the tag teams with contrix we made it to the final two years running in what, 2014, 15, and then I was second against D-Lo 216, and then 219. So <laughs> the longest running UK beatbox champion by default. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, mother. Ew, whoops, mother.